All right, I'm not gonna use any in-game footage for this. Instead, I'm just going to talk into the camera. If you've kept tabs on the Brazilian Battle Right Discord server, you will already know that Bacado, the esports coordinator and great guy at SLS, has his last day with the company today, Friday the 28th of June. A couple of days ago, he announced his departure in the Discord. And here's Google's shitty translation of what he wrote. Hail boys, everything calm. Come on, Google. As many have noticed, I've been missing out in the group lately. Today, I announced that I am leaving Stunlock. My last day is this Friday, the 28th. Stunlock had already notified me this more than two months ago, so it was a good time for me to prepare. More news on the future of the game as a whole is due in July. Hmm. I really want to thank you, the community. My biggest motivation always came from the players, from each message in the Discord, inside the game, here in the group, or in some stream. The affection I had in Battleright is something that I'll keep and remember forever. I know that many here are angry with Stunlock, but for me it was a great opportunity and I learned a lot from the mistakes and the correctness Google, of the game. I leave Stunlock happy and prepared to go on with my career in the world of games and esports. If you have any general questions about my departure, you can leave them in the comments and I'll see what I can answer. You are awesome. See you next time. Bocado. So this tells us that he's leaving, that he's known about it for about two months, and that this was a decision made by SLS. Now, it's no shock that the game doesn't really have the need for an esports coordinator these days. The announcement does make me wonder, however, what further news about the future of the game will be announced in July. At first, this gave me a really ominous vibe. Staff leaving and we'll get news on the future of the game soon after? At first I thought maybe SLS had come to the conclusion that there isn't much of a future for the game anymore. But there are two things about Bocado leaving SLS that doesn't necessarily make it quite so dramatic. One is that, like I said, without an esports scene, what really is the need for an esports coordinator? The second is that Bocado was no regular employee. Turns out Bocado was a contractor, so they're not really firing someone here. They're probably just not renewing the deal they had with him before. So there is a difference there. That's a important distinction to make. I reached out to SLS for a comment on this and they said that as far as Bocado and SLS going separate ways, there isn't much to say, but, and I quote, that we've had a great time working with him and that he's been a great member of the team and the community, end quote. And I think I can speak for anyone who dealt with Bocado when I say that he was an enormously positive person to be around. Even as the bearer of the bad news of the cancellation of the Season 3 LAN in the BPL, I don't think I ever heard a single player say a bad thing about Bocado. As for me, he saw my early interviews and reached out to me and after talking for a while, he got me and a cameraman tickets to the BPL Season 1 LAN at DreamHack. He gave me feedback on my interviews and the visuals of my channel and he's always just been an absolute pleasure to talk to about Battle Right Esports and other stuff as well. So thank you for that Picado and for creating an esports scene that, while it was short-lived, was one that me and a lot of us Battle Right players truly loved. When it comes to the news coming in July, all I got out of SLS was that it will come to us in early July. So as of the release of this video, it should be a matter of days or a week or so before we get to know what these news actually are. And when we do, there will obviously be a video covering that as well. So if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss when that or any other video I upload are uploaded. All right, with that out of the way, I guess all that's left to say is once again, muito obrigado, Bocato, for everything you did in Battle Right, and best of luck in your future endeavors. I hope we still get to talk from time to time in Discord.